Uh, we're going to start with a sketch on the right plane. I'm going to use a circle and dimension that circle. And this is a millimeter template, so we're going to say that this is 583 millimeters. Okay. Uh, I'm going to then go in and do a line because I want the split in this part to be uh, at uh, straight up. Okay. Um, select there and change this to a construction line. I'm also going to uh, do an offset entity on this in uh, both directions. And let's just say uh, five millimeters is fine. Uh, and click OK to accept. Now at this point, I want to go in and do a trim. Okay. And let's do uh, both of these also as construction lines. Okay. Now let's make let's make uh, both of these also uh, within this symmetrical. In order to make these symmetrical, we've got to put these back as uh, regular to find and make it symmetrical. And then let's put a dimension on here, from here to here. Let's change that to, uh, let's just change it to two. Close up our gap a little bit. Um, and then we'll go in there and change these to construction lines. Okay, so we've got our gap there and we've got our sketch. So we're ready to go into our sheet metal and do a base flange tab. We're going to tell it that we want a 25 millimeter thickness on the wall. We can see there that this sketch actually has the material on the outside. We want to reverse that direction to come to the inside. And we want to change this to a mid-plane extrusion. And we want it to be extruded to be 1440 millimeters. And I'll click OK to accept that. Now at this point, we can actually go in and do a flatten on this uh, part already. And you can see there the bin line that I've got. Uh, if I go in and change this to plain white, it's a little easier to see. Uh, but you see the part there that I have. Uh, if I go back and change it back to flatten uh, and do a fit to screen, I've got the part there uh, just like I did before. Now I'm going to go in on this part and I'm going to just put a quick chamfer on it. We're going to do the chamfer here, and this is 25 millimeters thick, so I'm going to say that I want this to be to a depth of 22.5. I'm going to select these two edges to chamfer. And uh, 45 degrees is fine. Click OK. So now I've got a V-cut along that uh, length of pipe. Now the other thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go in and do a sketch on my front plane. I'm going to do a normal, and we're just going to do, let me just do an arc here. Just do an arc uh, for our cutout here. We're going to put some restraints on it, make sure that this is vertical, and uh, make sure that these are all um, horizontal. Okay, and then we'll put a couple of dimensions on it. We want the uh, radius of this thing to be 182. And we want the center of this, from the center of our origin, we want that dimension to be 312. So the center of this arc is actually a little bit below the uh, actual curvature of the pipe. So I'm going to go there and just say, okay, in the sheet metal, let's go to extruded cut. And I'm going to tell it to go through all. If I rotate this around, you kind of see the through cut. And you see here, we're actually removing the top part of the pipe. We want to flip that cut down. This is the part that we want to remove. And we're making a normal cut. So I'm going to click OK to accept. And with that, we've cut through our pipe. We've created a, uh, a section there, a uh, section cut. And again, I can go in and do a flatten and I get a quick flat pattern of that uh, of that pipe and the way it looks with the cut in it. Uh, of course go back and do a flatten again do the uh, fit to screen and then we can take this part let's just go ahead and save this part and we're going to save it uh, let's just call it let's save it as a pipe It'll be fine click save 
and we're going to put it into a drawing really quick. And we're just going to use the B size secant. And drag my flat pattern out, drop it in place. And you see here that we've got the uh, end radius and uh, how how uh, how how much the radius is bent and what the angle of bend is. So we've got that information there. We can go in at that point and put in a couple of uh, dimensions if we'd like to of our overall part. change this to a uh, hidden lines visible so you can actually see the uh, the chamfer lines there as well and let's go to our view palette and let's drag in the uh, front view and let's do a, uh, a quick um, section view of this part on the center and I hold my control key to break the alignment so I can bring it up here and drop it so that I can actually see what's going on and then from that point uh, we can go in and do a detailed view of just this part okay now I can go in on that detailed view and tell it that I want it to be larger, make the scale a little bit larger. Uh, this is user defined, so I can go in there and say I want it to be one to four scale. Click OK, and then we'll move this thing up a little bit more. Then we go in and we put a dimension in here. We definitely need to know that this is uh, what the angle of, of degrees that is, and. Uh, maybe even what the uh, thickness here is that's left at the bottom. So you see there real quick we've added a couple of dimensions to this thing. We've added a uh, section view and a detail view uh, and you can see there that uh, we've taken this done this pretty quickly in SolidWorks so it's pretty simple to do. Um, I hope this uh, helps you out if you're trying to put together some pipes and stuff in SolidWorks. Um, if you need any more information, you can go to uh, www.seekittech.com or you can call us at 501-835-6868. Thank you and have a great day.